Hey guys, I'm Roman. I'm Lou. And we are the Bourbon Beats, where today we have another exciting episode. Lou, what do we got? We got some Green River. Green River. It wasn't distilled literally from green water. <laughs> it's just called Green River from Kentucky. <laughs> Might not be a good idea to use green water. <laughs> So but yeah, so we got some Green River. Uh, this one has been out for a little while, but now it's our turn. Yes. So we're gonna take a crack at this. This is a single barrel, and it is a store pick from where? Liquor lineup in Las Vegas. But you know what else, Lou? Hmm. Please like and subscribe. Oh yeah, don't forget to do that. <laughs> <laughs> if you love us or don't, <laughs> at least subscribe. At least subscribe. So we can like uh, either uh, give you some good content or annoy that. You know what out of, you. out of you. <laughs> All right, so this bottle is coming at 123.6 proof. Yep. Uh, a legacy revived. And I mean, do you guys really want to see it? Yeah. Nah, yeah. Nah, it's Green River. It's a single yeah. barrel. Let's Green try it out. Yeah, so. Um, oh, wait. Hmm. It's also uh, part of a drinking game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there is <laughs> a quarter kind of cool. right here. Yeah, so the bottom of the bottle is in the shape yep. of a horseshoe. Yep. So, I mean, people uh, have seen that. But if you don't know, it is a horseshoe right there. And mm -hmm. there's a little opening right there. For a so, like, I don't know if you can get this to see. There's hey, a little quarter here. And you kind of. He's in a miss. Watch. Ah! Loser. Here, that's how you do it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and that's how you get your free shot of Green River. Yeah, what? so if y'all get bored, <laughs> you got something to do. Shoot quarters. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so yeah, what we got here? this is a bourbon uh, from Kentucky, uh, single barrel, like we said, uh, mm -hmm. one twenty three point six proof. Um, I don't think we ever drank anything from Green River, huh? I don't think so. I don't. Th oh, and by the way, guys, mm -hmm. got my Padres hat on because they're gonna be in the playoffs. Yeah, and, go Pods! Uh, <laughs> starting on Saturday, they face up against the Dodgers. Oh, look at them beat the Dodgers. <laughs> if you have any, if, if we have any Dodgers subscribers deal with it How? so on the nose it's uh peppery a little bit yeah i was gonna say right away right? like I, I i got a hint of um rye yes it's not a rye though yeah it's not a rye not a rye yeah, yeah it's it's got a sweet grassy smell to it very flavorful so at 123 proof um it 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 burns my nose a little bit it's gonna burn your your, your throat too <laughs> but in a good way it's actually really good so i'm getting a lot of rice spices on this thing which is really weird but i'm not against it at all it's really really good uh the finish is still there oh yeah right the finish is still there uh how would you describe it i'm, I'm, I'm so i'm lacking so some words here on missing. the front of the palate you get your traditional flavors mm -hmm. from any bourbon and then all of a sudden everything just starts popping and yes. cracking and going Mm. Uh, the, the flavors just get amped up more and more as it goes to the back end of the finish. Yeah, a lot of a lot of sweetness, a lot of spice. Lots yeah, of spices, that, man. That's what I would never expect it. Like, like uh, black pepper spice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not not like pepper spice. Like you know, like chili spice. Uh, second sip going in. Uh, very sweet. Uh, oakier now, which it's I like. Oakier now, so. Here's my thing, if I may interject, is I'm getting, it's a one focus type of whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not like, it's, I'm not getting like brown sugar, I'm not getting, you know, oakiness, I'm not getting a, a, a lot of things, I'm just getting a spice, a rice spice, mm -hmm. a rice spice, <laughs> a rice, rice spice, spice. <laughs> <laughs> which spice, a rice spice, like five of them. And, <laughs> but I, I do get like burnt caramel. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I do taste like a burnt aspect to, to the flavor on it. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, especially on the oaky side of it, you, you kind of taste the the yeah, burnt sugar, wood, wood sugars. It's it's coming it's, out. it's one dimensional. Mm -hmm. I have to admit to that. Yeah. It is one dimensional. I do love the way uh, the great, flavors though. evolve over like, time from from the front to the back of the palate. Yeah, yeah. Like you don't just get like a, like you know one or two notes here and there. Like I what said, you know, you kind of go uh, okay, it's whiskey, and all of a sudden, whoop, and yeah. then just like you taste like you know, a bunch of flavors, but. It does fall flat at the end. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like one flavor only. That's yeah, really there, there's, it, there's a... Oh, wait. We had a discussion with someone earlier today where they recommended us to put a few drops of water. Yeah. So, uh, you know, there's a controversy about this. You know, like some people love, like us, we don't like to put water into yeah. our whiskey. Personally, I don't. Um, so once in a while we do. Uh, Super when, when we Yeah, when we think that it might do something to it. 
to our benefit. I mean, it for does change the flavor. The, it does change the taste. Yeah, it you know, it? yeah, water. You put in, put it into anything. It will change the flavor no matter what the proof. Um, but we actually thought about it and we kind of wanted to experiment with it to put more water into our whiskey here and there. I feel like the three drops um, of water that I put in there made it worse. Yeah, yeah. Well, it I just, don't it, want to put it just accentuated a lot of the yeah. peppers. And then uh, oh, our yeah. our friend uh, our friend Don, yeah, uh, down the street uh, at Skybox, he said, you know, put water in everything. And I understand where he's coming from. We traditionally don't. Yeah. Um, he also said though, like you know, there's certain whiskeys that um, deserves water. Um, I mean, to each to each their own. Like, like me personally, I like to just enjoy the whiskeys yeah. for how they give it to us. The only way you'll find out if it'll benefit, you know, the flavor for you is just to do it yeah yeah and yeah 100 percent. you know if you don't want to you know uh waste your whiskey like if it ends up being not good you know for your flavor palette uh just you know do it with a little bit you know so you don't Simple have like a whole like cup full but i'm, I'm gonna try it too it's supposed to be like three drops man <laughs> Whack. leave it to lou one drop <laughs> one drop Oh, it smells good. Though. It smells good, but then the taste for me. Yeah, is kind for of the amazing. nose, it made it smell buttery. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I, I I'll, I'll give it that. Yeah. Def. Oh, yeah. All right. That smells like dessert. Now drink. It. Like baklava. <laughs> drink it. I'm waiting for you to drink it. <laughs> now the the <laughs> on the palate. On the palate, it's completely different. I'm tasting the the burnt pastry thing. It's a lot sweeter. But I don't get that crescendo of flavors that, from the, without, that happened the, before yeah, yeah. Uh, without water. So, you know, like I was saying, you taste whiskey and then all of a sudden you get just like a bunch of things yeah. going on. Now with the water in it, it, kind of, it toned it down. Uh, maybe it was uh, because it toned down the, uh, the alcohol. Um, but for this whiskey, for the Green River uh, single barrel whiskey uh, bourbon, I like it without water. Okay. And what do you give it for rating? I wrote mine um, down. Ooh, I didn't even think about that part yet. So, uh, ooh. so how do I enjoy it? This is what <laughs> with sorry, Don. <laughs> this is the without water the rating. Without water rating, because most people just drink it <laughs> without the, way the manufacturer water, wants yeah. us to. Oh, the company wants how us much to I it. enjoy this whiskey right. for what it is. Nice sixty nine. <laughs> Six point nine. Uh, I couldn't get to that seven part. I, I I wrote seven originally, then I erased it. I was like, you know, I can't I can't do that. I'll keep it at a yeah, six point I, nine and that's I thought it. about going lower at first, like the sixes, uh the lower sixes. Yeah. But actually it tastes pretty good to me. So there we go. Yeah, there so, we have it. So guys, it's, this is our beautiful Green River single barrel. Yeah. And can, and this is a store pick. It's a store pick. Yeah, from so, the liquor lineup. So if you grab a regular bottle, it might not taste exactly the It same. might taste better. Yeah, or it might taste better. Exactly. Yeah. But for our flavor palette, it, it tastes good. It's all right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Oh, no. I'm, I'm Roman. I'm Luke. We are the Roman Beats. Please like and subscribe. Take care. Don't show it to look at lineup. <laughs>